Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Hmm, better idea. Done. This is about a simple little tool I designed. These little buzzers right here. And they're a little zip tool for this stuff. And there's a reason I prefer this stuff over many of the other options. For one, it's much, much faster. It's self-supporting to a, to a point. I mean, as long as you hold each end, it'll stand up and move and flex. It's softer, and it's less likely to damage the wires. It protects it, and it's super fast. Now, there is one issue everyone's been having, and that is loading it. Even though it's fairly fast, everyone jams their finger in there and splits the loom and slides their finger along, and it's like a serrated knife going down that, and it hurts like hell. Well, there's a couple of easier ways. One, you can just push it in there a certain way, but it's kind of a pain. But I just designed this little tool. And all it is is a little handle with a little pan on the bottom. And you slide it in there, and you just slide it along. And it zips the wires in. Now, there are other ones, and this one's a really popular one. But it's kind of a pain in the butt. You basically slide the wires in. You have two parts. This goes into your corrugated split loom, slides in, wires go in, you slide them in the slot here, slide this in, once again they slide in the slot, you spin it, that holds them there, and then you just kind of slide it along the, core of the split loom and it loads it. It's kind of complicated, it's kind of a pain in the butt, it works well, don't get me wrong, I've used it. It's kind of big and bulky. You have to use a really small one, which means you can't you can't fill the split loom properly with it. It is good for your first run, though. It, like if you have like a dozen wires, you're gonna run through the split loom the first time. This is actually a, a, probably a better option. My little tool is good for adding a wire or doing you know three or four wires. I think I did it with like six, and I was having I was actually struggling with it a little, but it's good for doing it. It just zips them right along. <laughs> and there's a couple different sizes for a different size split loom. And that's about it. I prefer split loom over the wrap. Just for one, the wrap is just obnoxious. The wrap doesn't really truly protect the wires. The wrap really truly doesn't stop the flex point. Where this you do have to mount it at each end. But you actually have to mount it. I've seen this stuff and people are, are using it. And then they're tying the wires off down here to tie the wires off and mount it to the hardware, you know, to the head or to the motion system or whatever at the actual split loom. You'll always see mine mounted at the ends. It's got a clamp on. I'll show you the picture. You can't clamp onto the wires and then have this doing anything. It's not doing anything at that point. It has to be mounted at each end. The other options are the wire chains. Wire chains are okay. I don't particularly like them because they end up doing this. When you're doing a bunch of fast movements in one area, you're doing this. And you're flexing this area of the wire. Still way better than bare wire just dangling. But with this, when you're doing the small movement, it's doing it the whole length of the split loom. It's a minor thing. I just, I hate the wire chains. I, I find them more of a pain. They're just very difficult to load. They're very difficult to unload. You have to have an exact size. If you make it too big, the wires will move inside of it, and rub, and wear through. If you make it too small, they get too tight on there, and they rub, and they pinch, and they break. I've seen so many people, you know, with broken wires inside a, the wire chains 
because generally because they put too many wires and too small of a chain. That's usually why. Where this is less likely to have that problem. You can kind of overstuff these and it's not a big deal. It's a choice. I like these better. I think they look better. They're, you know, you can get them in multiple colors. Whatever. It's a personal choice. This is a little tool for zipping it in. That's all it is. Slip the tool in. Just slide it along. And the wires zip right in there. You do have to hold the end you're pulling from. Otherwise, it'll just pull the wire through the split room. That's it. And all you do is right in the front. There's a little groove in the front. Slide it in. And then just pull it off. And then just slide right in there. Done.